Well, we can cross now to Cairo, where Hugh Miles, the director of the Al Shafi Miles Consultancy, a business intelligence company, is standing by to speak to us. Mr. Miles, thank you for your time. Firstly, can you just tell me any reaction there to these strikes? Was there any surprise? Uh, well, there's a lot of support, I think, amongst Egyptians. It's a popular move. Uh, it's been covered in the media here, given blanket coverage in the Egyptian media. We, we woke up to see it this morning on, on television, um, very similar to the kind of television footage that we, we remember from uh, the Gulf War and, and other strikes of this nature. But it's not exactly a surprise because this uh, problem has been escalating um, over the past weeks and months. We, we've all been aware of uh, Derna's reputation as a hardline uh, Islamist militant stronghold. So, um, so, no, it's not completely out of the blue. But what's new is that, that this is an, the first time that Egypt has overtly intervened in this way. Indeed. Now, you say it's not out of the blue. Give us an idea of what are relations like between Egypt and Libya, a country where thousands of Egyptians live and work? Well, uh, relations have been a bit um, up and down, to tell the truth. Um, when Gaddafi ruled Libya, uh, of course, he was a very difficult neighbour and there was frequent tensions and problems, so uh, relations were never exactly warm, and uh, Egypt has dispensed troops against Libya in the past, during the Gaddafi era as well. So there, there were often problems, but I mean, th this is uh, taking things to a new level, though, in, in the deterioration between Egypt, Egypt and, and Libya, because of course what we're really seeing here is Egypt coming in hard on one side in a, in a Libyan civil war. Indeed, but I imagine for a lot of Egyptians, Libya is a necessary place to go to get work at the minute. Indeed it is, uh, certainly. Uh, Egypt is a poor country with a big population, and uh, Libya, of course, with its oil money, holds out the promise of a, a better future. And many, many Egyptians travel to Libya um, to work there, uh, like these poor people who travelled from Minya, which is one of the poorest parts of Egypt. Um, th this is very normal. Okay, you, Miles, I'm making sure we're going to have to leave it there. But thank you indeed for joining us here on France 24.